Hi, I'm Adil Fattah and welcome to this series of videos. These videos are part of your consent process, which includes the consultation with me, the written information I gave you in the clinic, and the letters in the post. These videos are generic and an aid of memoir, so feel free to watch them as many times as you like, jot down any questions you have, and I'll go through them with you in the clinic at our next appointment. If you're not one of my patients, these videos do not constitute independent medical advice and shouldn't really be used outside of the context of a consultation with me. Either way, I hope you find these videos interesting and informative. What is an inverted nipple? In reality, it's probably a variation of normal. It's caused by when the, the ducts that are from the breast tissue coming to the surface of the nipple are tight and short, and therefore rather than the nipple sticking out, it's pulled backwards and inwards. It varies from lady to lady. Sometimes the nipple will come out in response to touch, and on other occasions the nipple will stay permanently retracted in spite of all attempts to bring it out. The options to treat retracted nipple include the nippleette device, which is a small suction cup device and is certainly worth trying to begin with. Most women report some improvement um, with it, but it won't really affect or improve the most severe permanently retracted nipples. So what can we do to treat inverted nipple surgically? Well, we can make a small incision between three and six o'clock on the nipple. And through this tiny incision, we can divide those short retracted um, ducts. Once those ducts are divided, the nipple naturally just pops forward. Now, if we left it at that, the nipple would simply scar back down into its old position. And so we use a slowly absorbing suture on the inside, like a purse string, in order to prevent this from happening. The procedure itself is performed under local anaesthetic in the clinic. It takes around about 30 minutes, is very straightforward and has a very fast recovery. At the end of the procedure, the nipple will be slightly over protruding because um, this will counteract the natural tendency for the nipple to fall back a small degree. What will happen after the surgery? Well, you'll have a scar at that three to six o'clock It'll be within the areola, the pigmented part of the nipple, and the scar usually heals very well and is virtually invisible, but sometimes may leave a white line or a darker patch. Very rarely scars can heal abnormally, such as a keloid scar. A keloid scar is a big, thick lump or growing piece of scar. This can be a real problem if it does occur. Thankfully, it's very rare. Treatment usually involves injection of steroids into it and not further surgery, which actually can often make it worse. You may need referral to a specialist for treatment with regards to this. After the surgery, you'll notice some puckering around the base of the nipple, and this is where the purse string suture is situated. This will settle within a few weeks. After this procedure, you'll not be able to breastfeed as all the ducts will have been divided. If you intend to breastfeed, do not undertake this procedure. So what can go wrong? Well, infection, can occur. The risk is about 1 in 20, a 5% risk of infection. You'd require uh, oral antibiotics and it'd be very rare for it to require more than that to allow things to settle down. You may get some bleeding or a small hematoma, a, a collection of blood under the nipple forming. And if this occurs, you need to contact us to let us know. And if necessary, you may need to drain that under local anaesthetic. There will definitely be an asymmetry between the two sides, especially if we only operate on one of the nipples. Um, all we're doing is bringing out the nipple that's already there. Uh, many pe people's nipples are different shapes on each side, uh, and there's no way we can guarantee that the nipples will be exactly the same on each side. The nipple may retract in spite of our best efforts, and if this is the case, you'll need redo surgery in order to try and bring the nipple forward again. I can't give a percentage chance of this occurring, there may be sensitivity of the nipple or numbness of the nipple. This may change over time or may be permanent. The erectile nature of the nipple may change in response to touch or temperature. We have no control over this. You may think that the nipple has been overcorrected and sticks out too much. You may think it's been undercorrected and not brought out far enough. Remember, we can only reveal the nipple that's already there and not create a nipple to order. There is a theoretical risk of nipple loss, 
should there be any compromise to the blood supply of the nipple. This is very rare, but is a possibility and therefore I'm obliged to tell you about it. After the surgery, you'll have a sponge dressing which pads the nipple and prevents the bra or clothing from pushing it back in. This is shower proof and will stay in place for one to two weeks. At the two week dressing appointment, we'll remove this and any loose dissolving sutures that may remain on the surface of the nipple. If this dressing gets wet or moist underneath, then it's best to remove this dressing and replace it with a band-aid plaster in order to prevent bacteria growing and causing an infection.